Hi everybody, Jason here from CloudShark, and uh, we have some really great news. The folks at Cisco Meraki, who make a set of networking devices like wireless APs and enterprise switches uh, that are entirely cloud managed, which means you can log into their website and view the devices and uh, manage them entirely in, in, in the web, have decided to incorporate the ability to send captures done in those devices, because they have embedded packet capture, uh, directly to CloudShark or to your own CloudShark appliance. With these things combined, you now have a completely web-based capture and analysis system from start to finish. We're pretty excited about it and I wanted to show you a little bit about how it works. So let's check it out. And in the column on the left, you'll see packet capture and that's where all the magic happens. So we're gonna do a capture on all access points. We only have one. But new under the output type is stream to CloudShark. Now, if you don't have your own CloudShark appliance set up, uh, the captures will be sent to the public Meraki CloudShark site. But you can configure that here, which takes you to your network-wide settings. And down here under CloudShark information, it says use public CloudShark. And if I say no, it gives me the option to put it in a CloudShark URL and an API key. In this case, I have it set up on one of our demo servers. Now, if I go back to Packet Capture, and I select Stream to CloudShark, now it's gonna send it to the private CloudShark appliance that I have set up. I'm only gonna capture for six seconds so that you can see how this works. You can also add your own filter expression, so if you know what you're looking for ahead of time and you only want to see that traffic, you can do that too. Once the capture is finished, you'll see a View Capture on CloudShark link. And if I click on it, it will take me right to the capture in CloudShark. From here, I can add my own filters, I can add annotations to individual packets. And I can use any of CloudShark's built-in analysis tools. In the Meraki packet capture logs, I can see all of the captures that I've sent to CloudShark and the URL to get to them. The other thing I can do is go into CloudShark's capture file list and I can see all the captures that I've uploaded there. This allows me to assign them to particular users or groups who might need to have access to them. The other thing I can do under the clients list, you can see there's two iPads connected here. If I click on one of them, I can actually run a packet capture just on this client. And you see here it automatically creates a filter expression just for the MAC address of, of the host. And again, I can do a six second capture. view that capture on CloudShark. And that's all there is to it. If you haven't checked out Meraki Cloud Managed Networking Devices before, you can check them out at meraki.cisco.com. Also, always feel free to contact us about incorporating CloudShark into your devices or your packet capture network. That's all for now. Happy packet surfing.